Depending on how long you've been following this blog, you may or may not know that I've been trying to turn this Demolisher 2-in-1 into an actual 2-in-1 for both of my hobbies, both being Nerf and Laser Tag. Instead of this firing a big rocket, I've been modifying this blaster to house a nice pretty lens arrangement. This guy in here fits like a glove and is more than capable of hitting targets at an excess of 1,000 feet. So, keep dreaming, Nerf. Um, I, I do both of these because uh, I like laser tag um, for the range and accuracy um, and for the hit confirmations instead of, you know, having to battle that out. I like Nerf, just, you know, it's, it's fun. You're actually getting hit with a projectile. There's ammo consumption to think about. All kinds of other things that come into play there. But anyway, this blaster is essentially the embodiment of both of my hobbies. And it's been a bit of a pain, which is kind of funny. I've done something like this before, but just not with this kind of system. See this guy up here? That's where you're aiming when you're playing laser tag for you nerf people that are ignorant. Um, actually, no, most nerf people at least have an idea of what's going on with, with laser tag. You're aiming for this sensor dome. In there are housed the, the sensors um, that record the hits. It's essentially a glorified version of flashlight tag. But this guy's, um, I keep hitting little snags as far as layout goes, which is usually the thing that I don't have issues with. You'll notice there's a nice big panel gap back here. Um, that's because the board inside um, doesn't quite fit the way it should. It's not, well, let's just say it's a little too snug. So there's that fitment to figure out. Um, but then also, I'm going to flip this guy over and show you what I'm dealing with as far as trying to fit this sensor dome in here. So I have stuff on top, but then I also have bits on the bottom. Um, this is essentially falling into this portion of the demolisher up top. Um, it should fit like a glove, but it's being a little problematic. But then I also need to reroute all of these wires coming from the sensor to the board down here, which the stock wires don't quite reach, so I have to rewire that, which is a bit of a pain. But most importantly, fitment. Um, Right now I just have it tagged in there just so that way I can show it from the, from the other side. I'm trying to figure out a way to mount this to the orange shell in here instead of the orange, less orange shell. This guy is essentially going to get cut to go around him on both sides. Um, it should be a very snug fitment, but again, there's that issue there is just trying to get things to fit right on this blaster. I've also been trying out placement for a weaver rail up front to mount a small tactical light, like a flashlight. Um, and then I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the traditional pump that's usually down here. Um, I was going to leave it off, but then it's a matter of trying to, you know, close up that big hole and all that fun stuff. I might also use it literally as a reload, but I've been a fan of utilizing these buttons here, not only to release the magazine, but, uh, but also to reload the... Uh, press the button to reload the laser tag blaster. Anyway, um, if you've missed the uh, the wiring stuff inside before, there's other videos that you can check out on my blog. But uh, that's kind of what I'm facing this week, and I'm hoping to get the fitment right on the main board to go in through here. And I'm also hoping to start getting this thing integrated a little better.